Uh, Craig, finally the start of the season, then um, trip to Bedford on Saturday. Is it a relief to finally have a game again, do you think? Yeah, uh, massively. I think we've, uh, we've had a really long pre-season this year with the World Cup. Um, and boys are uh, we've been pretty much into rugby from the beginning, um, getting, getting all our shapes right, our defensive shape right. Um, and I think we're just sort of chomping at the bit now to get out there and another game. Yeah, three to four months pre-season behind us now. Just kind of tell us a bit about how demanding that period's been, obviously significantly longer than it normally is. Yeah, uh, personally I missed the first couple of, yeah. uh, or first couple of blocks of pre-season, but, but um, watching in and, and being involved from the side, is, uh, it's looked really tough, but at the same time there's been loads of ball involved. Um, we've, had, we've got into rugby straight away. Um, Got a lot of continuity coming from last year with uh, some really good new signings, and uh, I think it's done us really good that we've we've had that ball in hand all the way through pre-season, and and we're looking sharp now. Yeah, two pre-season friendlies a few weeks ago. Um, what were the kind of main things we took from those? Do you think? Uh, I think we we performed well in them both. Um, we've uh, we've gone out and put two national one teams to the sword. One of them. We expected to to probably finish within that top one, two, or three, um, and we've basically just stuck to our structures um, and and we've beaten them at, at what we're good at. And we know that we've got to stick to that sort of stuff to put teams away uh, at the top of the championship. And it's good signs, good signs from the start of pre-season. Yeah. Also, say sessions against England and Saracens only last week. Um, how beneficial were they? Are really good. I think that England one was a bit of an eye opener for us um, after not doing a lot of rugby uh, in terms of uh, match scenarios. Yeah. We've been, um, it was good to get stuck into a session against them. I think it took us a little bit of time to, to wake up to the intensity of it, but once we did, I think we got a lot of good learnings out of it. Um, and then that Saracen session the other week was really beneficial. I think we uh, we showed some hugely encouraging signs in that session, uh, especially with the ball in hand and and even without the ball as well. We were looking really sharp, and at times we we caused them a lot of trouble. So it's uh, really positive. Yeah, obviously a longer pre-season than normal. You've mentioned about the kind of amount of ball in hand we've had. Do you think that puts us in a better position to kind of get off to a positive start? Yeah, definitely. The championships. Uh, it's a tough league. We know you've got to be performing. Um, within your little details within the game, uh, uh, at the top of your game every week to be able to put teams away, um, and we know that. So we've we've really put a focus on our on our detail in attack and defence uh, to allow ourselves to to hit the ground running in at the start of the season. Um, I think it's made a big difference having that ball in hand. We're all on in a really good place on and off the field. I think we've uh, we've got a really good tight group, and, uh, and we're all excited about what's to come. Yeah, personally for you, a little knock earlier in the pre-season as you kind of alluded to earlier, but a bit of game time against Roslyn Park, are you feeling 100% now? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, coming back in was a bit frustrating. Obviously, seeing the lads kicking on and, and getting into into good condition uh, physically and, and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, with it being a long pre-season, I've been quite fortunate to be able to, to have had um, this last couple of blocks of of training into me and getting back up to a bit of sharpness um, but yeah feeling really good now and looking forward to playing like we said. Yeah a handful of new signings added in as well obviously over the summer how exciting do you think this new squad is pulling together now? Massively yeah um, obviously we've we've kept a, a lot of the lads around from last year um, that made last year so successful and, and we've added to that with some real quality as well uh, there's a lot of boys that have come in um, and there's loads of depth in our squad now to, uh, to, to have boys putting their hands up for, for starting shirts and uh, we've obviously got this block of championship cup games to, to see what happens in those um, but yeah I think we're in a really good place squad wise loads of depth and that's what you need for us uh, pushing through this season if we're uh, to get promoted which is the A. Yeah you're used to having a lot of depth in your position as, as last year as well you're enjoying the kind of battle with Stephen Shingler at the moment for the for the nod? Yeah Masfi he's a really experienced and talented player um, I think it's good for both of us uh, uh, there's obviously just two of us so we're pushing each other um, I got on really well with him off the pitch as well. It's uh, yeah, it's good to. It's always good for us both to be providing each other with competition, and, and at the end of the day, there's uh, there's, uh, there's it can only be good for the team. Yeah, moving to moving forward. Sorry, Bedford on Saturday. Um, well known kind of style of play that they have. What's the biggest challenge we have on Saturday? Do you think? I think uh, obviously, as we've said, it's our first 
uh, competitive hit out. I think uh, when you come up against Bedford, you kind of know what to expect. They're, uh, they'll play loose and they play really good attacking rugby. Uh, for us, I think it's it's looking at the end of last season, how we were playing. We were still going out and attacking teams, and and we were really good with the ball in hand as well as as well as defensively. And I think a big. Uh, a big goal for us coming into these games now is to continue that and, uh, and really try and put teams to the sword um, with our attack as well. So I think we know fully what to expect with Bedford. They're a really good side uh, and they've looked good in pre-season as well. It's be a really good test for us out for us. Um, and, uh, and like I said, it's just us trying to impose our game on them. Yeah, Goldington Road always tough as we found out last year. Is it in a way kind of the perfect test to start the year to kind of refocus everyone a bit? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, having this little block of um, cup matches is, is really good timing. Uh, and like you said, going there, it's a tough place to go. In fact, one of the harder places to go in the league. Um, and they're a really good side there. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, it's a really good focal point for us to, to kick on to the season and see where we're at, I think, from uh, this first... Uh, or a few blocks of preseason. Yeah, the team selected actually only a handful. I think it's only three new players in that in that starting lineup. Is it quite nice for you, kind of as a player moving forward, just to have a bit of consistency in the first first couple of games, perhaps, and then kind of build from there? Yeah, I guess it's nice. But like I said, with with uh, preseason have been so long uh, and a lot of rugby going on throughout preseason, um, I think we're all in a good place as a group. It doesn't feel like there's any any rawness in that in terms yeah. of people slipping into the into the team and I think it's um, we're in a really good place for uh, a lot of boys to, to be in and out and, and whatever we're always looking over our shoulders it's uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see how the first game goes but it's good to have a bit of continuity in there yeah this first block gives us three games in the cup before the start of the uh, championship how important are the next kind of few weeks to just get everything right for that start of the league as well yeah massively I think um, as I alluded to earlier um, we like to, to play our own style of rugby and impose that on teams and I think it's a, it's a really good opportunity for us to, to get some really good competitive rugby in and sticking to our structures that we've, that we've alluded to throughout pre-season. Um, yeah, good opportunity for us to do that and, and see where we're at coming into those first league games. Yeah, also obviously the last competitive match was that memorable Championship Cup final. The fact that we're defending the cup, does that kind of make it more, um, more important as well perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. yeah. I think we want to we want to win every game yeah. we come into this year. Um, our focus is our massive focus is obviously on promotion and winning the league, um, and then that cup is is as, as big a focus as that as well. Um, we know we want to back that up, and and we've got the squad to be able to uh, to win the majority of the games and most of the games this season.